So if you remember right at the very start of the training, I said that Prezi Next enables you to create, present and analyze your presentations. We're now going to focus on the create part of that. And I'm going to show you how to use the entire user interface. First of all, we're going to take a look at templates and then we're going to slowly move into inserting media such as text, imagery, video and so on. And by the end of this section, you should have enough knowledge to start building your very own Prezi's. At the end of this section, I'm going to give you an exercise to build a presentation based on a very small design brief that I'm going to set you. You'll also be able to download imagery and content for that presentation. And I would really strongly recommend that you take the time to work through that exercise so that everything really sinks in for you. So let's get going. Whether you use the Prezi desktop software or the online version uh, really doesn't change the fact that when you hit the new button, the very first thing you'll see will be one of Prezi's built-in templates. So for the training, uh, for this video and for the rest of the training, I'm going to use the desktop app. Uh, I'm going to hit the new button at the very top of the screen here. And as you can see, we have a loading screen. And then as soon as that's loaded, there's a nice little prompt on the screen here for us to choose a template. So all of these templates have some really wonderful imagery inside them. I'm just going to go ahead uh, and click on the very first one that appears there so you can see it in the preview side of the screen. And rather than just selecting a template based on how it looks in this preview, you can actually use the right arrow at the bottom here and click through the different sections of that presentation. Just to get an idea of how things flow and how things move and what sections uh, and indeed subsections might be available to you. One thing to look out for as well when you're choosing a template is that some of the templates will have uh, a couple of different backgrounds and themes. So up here in the top right hand corner, you can see for this particular template, I can actually choose a white background if I want to, and that changes my pre preview here. So it could be that your branding um, for your particular business works much better with whiter backgrounds. Uh, if that isn't the case, then of course, just switch back to the blue version. Uh, when you're happy with that, press use template. There are quite a few other templates to choose from, uh, all based on different uh, visual metaphors, all with very different styles to them as well. So you may be able to find something that really suits your specific needs straight away. One last thing to mention about templates is that it's really important you try to get your own company's branding into Prezi as quickly as you can. There are a few different ways to do that, um, but it is possible if you've bought licenses for a group of people within your business, uh, that's what's known as a Teams setup. If you've done that, then it is possible to get your own branding into Prezi and available to every single one of those licenses. If you want more information on that, then please contact me at uh, russell at thepresenter.com or anyone on my team here, info at thepresenter.com. Let's move on to the next video and get really stuck into the software itself and look at how we can insert things like imagery and text and so on.